Hi, it's Dave from Align Therapy. Recently I've been researching, well, looking at some research articles on scoliosis and I thought a cool segment on, on this YouTube channel would be to talk about recent scoliosis research. Every month there's some, some new research coming out about scoliosis and I thought it would be great to talk about the research that's going on. So today's topic is a research article that looks at the perceptions of effectiveness of physiotherapeutic scoliosis specific exercise on adult scoliosis. So this study came out, well this research article came out last month and the reason it caught my eye was because it talks about adult scoliosis which is actually something that we don't have a ton of discussion about in the research. Most of the research is based around adolescent scoliosis and on kids in their teens and even in juvenile um, age groups are more common than in adults. So this was an interesting study to me because it talks about the perceived uh, perceptions of effectiveness on quality of life and pain and function in adults. So uh, physiotherapeutic scoliosis specific exercise are exercises like the Schroth method and um, it hasn't really been researched that much in, in adults. So this is kind of cool. So with this study, they had 57 adults respond to a survey that had 10 questions on it. Um, and they responded and, and then they did all their fun statistical analysis. But they found that the majority, so 61.9% felt that physical therapy with uh, specific exercise to scoliosis had moderately or significantly positively impacted their quality of life. So think about that, that's 62% of these moderately or significantly had uh, impacted their quality of life. That's pretty good. That's way better than a coin flip and, uh, and these, that's not even mildly affecting in a positive manner. So uh, we can say with, with pretty good certainty that the majority of people that are treated with the Schroth method or some of the other methods for scoliosis specific exercise have a moderate or significant positive impact to their quality of life. Um, it also talks about the most common number of visits for these people to do their exercises at home was between 5 and 10, uh, which is kind of our average here with adult scoliosis. Um, after that, 72% of those participants were either somewhat or very confident in their ability to perform the exercises unsupervised at home. Um, the most common frequency of doing their exercise at home was one to two times per week and it took them uh, between 20 and 40 minutes to do those exercises. So that, those are right, those numbers are right in line with what see, we see with adult scoliosis. I usually see them between six and ten times to get their exercises down so that they can do those at home and then they're usually doing those, well, I like to do those three to five days a week, and then it should take 20 to 30 minutes to do those at home. So that's right in line with that. The most interesting thing in here is the greater confidence in correctly performing the home exercise program was positively correlated with perceived impact, frequency, and time spent exercising. So we know that the, the more uh, consistent exercises are and the more frequent and the longer you do exercises, the better the result. It makes sense that you, the more you do it and the better you get with it, uh, the, the better it will, that, that you'll do. So this said that the, the more confident that the person is in doing the exercises, the more they will do it and the better they will do it. So that tells me that as I teach someone scoliosis exercises, especially adults, if I can get them confident in doing those at home, I have a higher chance of them doing them at home, and I also have a higher chance of them doing them correctly and doing them for longer, both of which are things that I want so that uh, we get better results. If someone isn't confident in doing their exercises, why would they continue doing them? So as a, a scoliosis therapist, and other scoliosis therapists out there, I think we can learn from this and we need our patients to be very confident in doing these exercises at home. If they're not confident, 
then they're probably not going to do the exercises. If they don't do the exercises, we're not going to get a good benefit. So that's the take home. If you are doing scoliosis exercises, make sure you're doing them right and that you know you're doing them right. Be confident in that and do them consistently and do them well and spend time doing them. And just like this study, the majority in this study, 62% had a moderate or significant positive change in their quality of life. So that's what you can expect and uh, kind of a cool, cool research study. Hopefully I didn't bore you too much and things that we can learn from. So I will be doing these more in the future as different research articles come out. We'll be reviewing research articles. We might even do some from, from the past, some of the, the bigger ones that have shown good benefit with scoliosis specific exercise. So subscribe to the channel, follow us, and as those things come out, I'll share those and we can, we can share the information that's coming out about this. Thanks for watching and good luck with scoliosis.